Using live searching is a great way to find answers and create quick reports. In previous versions of Quicken, we were always predisposed to run a report to solve any answer. But let's find a way to use searching, so let's go up and select an account. Let's say I want to find out how much I spend at a particular payee. For this example, I use Lowe's Foods, so I'll just go over to the search box and type Lowe's Foods. Now here's where the fun begins. If you notice at the upper right, you'll show that it indicates the total of the number of matches found, and it'll give you the total of all those matches. Right there's the answer if I want to find out how much I spent at this payee. Moreover, I can start selecting individual transactions, and I can actually get the total of what, the, what I have selected. Moving along, I'm going to get out of all those selections. You can also use these filters to your advantage. So you can have a quick report this way. Let's say I want to spend, see how much I spent year to date. I could just change that filter. I see I have one transaction. Or I could change it to, let's see, the last 12 months. And it'll show us we've gone there four times. Now, let's say I want to print this as a report. Just go ahead and go to print it. And notice you have two different options. We'll look at them. The first one is transaction detail. And I'm going to click OK and open this in preview so you can see it all. And you'll see this is breaking out. That these are actually split transactions. The, uh, that report with each transaction listed separately. And you'll see a total down at the bottom. If you use this report and you use split transactions, there is no way to collapse all the child lines. Now let's cancel out of this and look at the other report. Go to print again. I'm going to choose this as category detail. And this has a little bit different use. Again, open preview. And you'll see now that the transactions in this report are all broken out by category. And again, you'll have the summary down at the bottom. The best way to become familiar with this and see how you can use it to your advantage is just to play around with it. Let's select a few transactions like I did in the past. And I'll show you one more thing. If you go in that print dialog box, you also see that you have the option to show whether or not you print the visible transactions, selected transactions, or unselected transactions. Depending on the answer you're trying to find, that may be useful. A few other things. Cancel out of that. If you click on this magnifying glass, you can constrain your search to various columns that you have displayed. For example, let's say I wanted to search for a particular check number, and a number might be anywhere in my file because it might be listed as an amount. If I just want to search the check number column, just click on the magnifying glass and choose check number. And then I'd type the number in. Okay, I'm done with this example. So I'm going to click on reset filters. Oh, you notice all those ch things that uh, check numbers that suddenly matched up when I turn those off. And I'm going to clear out that search. And I'm going to check it, change it back to searching all visible columns. And one tip. In this example, I was just searching a checking account. If you want to search all your accounts, just go up here and click on all accounts. And then all your searching will be done across all your visible transactions. One caveat to finding answers this way is that while you can search for a category, it's not reliable to use it for such if you have split transactions. The reason being is that if you search for a category in a split, which obviously, obviously a split has multiple categories, this total calculated up here is not going to be of that particular category, but it will be for the total of the parent line of that split transaction. But there's an easy workaround. If you want to find a total for a particular category, use the little category explorers up here. Let's say I want to drill down to how much I spent on a natural gas. Well, I'll just drill down and then click on natural gas and I see in the past 20 years I spent $17,000 on natural gas. Once you become familiar with searching and filtering, you'll realize just how much more powerful it is than that old find and replace command. You can also use it to batch change. So take a look at that other video so you can see how you can manipulate your data and also use sorting to really clean it up quickly.